Yes, he got the game. The complete game. Well, you heard that right. Jeff Keighley is now the first person in the world to publicly confirm that he has received a complete copy of Marvel's Spider-Man 2. And he also let us all know that he, as well as everyone else who gets a copy of the game for review purposes early, will be able to discuss the game starting on Monday, October 16th, 2023. Yes, a whole four days before the release of the game. This is usually a very good sign that the game is going to be of high quality. It is very rare that a publisher lets reviewers post reviews early for a game if they believe that the game may review poorly. So obviously in this case, the fact that PlayStation and Insomniac Games are lifting embargo for the game four days early means that they are confident that the game will review well. And no, unfortunately, since I know you will ask me, I did not receive an early review copy, at least not yet. But that's not all. The folks over at Insomniac Games have also revealed some new information about the game's accessibility features, including our very first public look at the actual main menu layouts, as well as some of the actual features that the game will support. So let's break some of them down. First, we have a much more comprehensive set of options when it comes to the difficulty of the game. Like in the previous games, you can just have your regular difficulty level, or I guess in this game it will be called the challenge level. But then, unlike the previous Spidey games, this time we'll be able to also control enemy health levels, or how many hits an enemy will take in order to defeat, enemy damage levels, or the amount of damage an enemy will do to you, and finally, even the stealth awareness level that will essentially control how quickly enemies will actually detect you during stealthy sections. Additionally, it looks like some of the features from the previous games, like assistance with the chase missions, simplification of the puzzles, and helping you with your aiming, are all returning in Marvel's Spider-Man 2. I did want to take a moment to mention that as part of this accessibility list, we did get to find out the names of two of the types of puzzles that we'll be solving wow. in Marvel's Spider-Man 2, and those being the genetic splicer puzzles and the molecule identification tool puzzles. I saying that quickly five times and they also did point out that there will be others and if you're one of the people that did not like the puzzles whatsoever in marvel spider-man or marvel spider-man miles morales and you really were a fan of that puzzle skip feature that they implemented in those games worry not yes you can skip puzzles altogether if that's what you would like to do now, one thing I hope you don't skip is my coverage for Marvel's Spider-Man 2. And if you have been enjoying the videos so far, please consider taking a moment to leave a like. And thank you so very much for your support, guys. But now let's talk about the new feature side of things. Obviously, if you didn't know, Marvel's Spider-Man 2 will indeed be introducing a new pairing mechanic. And fortunately enough, if you're worried about the new feature, fear not as there is an option to adjust the timing window on the parrying and dodging mechanic to make things a bit easier or tougher depending on what you would like to do. And the rumors were indeed true. You will have the option to actually control the game's speed, playing at either real time or 100% speed or slowing the game down to 70, 50 or even 30% of that real time speed. This is not just great from an accessibility standpoint, but I'm sure that this will actually be a very useful feature for those of you that love using the photo mode. Being able to slow down the game and get the exact type of shot that you want utilizing photo mode will probably be quite handy. Now, of course, beyond everything that we've covered so far, there is still a ton more from an accessibility standpoint, such as subtitles, audio controls, visual controls, and much more. And if you want the full list, I will have a link pinned in the comments to check out the full in-depth feature set. Finally, I also think it's just important to simply take a moment and command Insomniac Games for putting together one of the most impressive accessibility features lists I have seen for a modern game to make sure that as many people as possible actually get a chance to play Marvel's Spider-Man 2 and enjoy their time doing so. Oh, and I guess this is not even the entire list of accessibility features because at the end of their PlayStation blog entry, they confirmed that even more accessibility features like a screen reader will be added into the game via an update in December of 2023 which I guess also gives us a possible idea of when the first major update for the game may arrive. Something again to be excited about. 
And it seems like Jeff Keighley is no longer the only one to receive the game, because as I was getting done with editing today's video, a bunch of other reviewers began confirming that they have received review copies, with some of them going as far as sharing the title screen of the game. Which is very interesting, because it seems like it features one Harry Osborn staring down the symbiote in a tank. And it becomes particularly interesting when contrasting it with the previous title screens for Marvel's Spider-Man, we saw Peter take center stage. And of course, for Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales, Miles was the star of the show. So it is interesting to contemplate, what does Harry Osborn's and the symbiote, I guess, front and center appearance might mean for Marvel's Spider-Man 2? And so there you have it. Another Marvel Spider-Man 2 update is in the books. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Thank you so very much for your support. And of course, guys, be warned. Because review copies are out in the wild, there will most definitely start to be more spoilers. So if you're trying to avoid that side of things, be very, very cautious over the course of the next few weeks.